They're not competing. They're cheating. President Joe Biden wants to triple tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum. He claims cheap Chinese exports are undermining American products. China is the number one producer of the two metals worldwide. The White House says the nation is not only dumping product on the market that is among the world's most emissions intensive, but subsidizing the industry to undercut American manufacturers. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen spoke about this Tuesday ahead of meetings at the IMF and World Bank in Washington. This isn't a level playing field. And when the markets weaken, prices fall, it's our firms that go out of business, those in our allied countries. Chinese firms continue to receive support so that they remain in. At the United Steelworkers Union headquarters in Pittsburgh Wednesday, Biden called on the U.S. Trade Representative to more than triple the current average tariff of 7.5% on certain steel and aluminum products if an investigation revealed anti-competitive trade practices. We're standing up against Chinese government on for economic practice and industrial overcapacity. And we are the strongest economic economy in the world. Beyond tripling tariffs, Biden touted efforts by his administration to shield U.S. steel producers, along with investigating China for unfair trade practices in shipbuilding, maritime and logistics. Biden reiterated the need for U.S. steel to stay domestically owned. Last week, U.S. steel shareholders approved a proposed merger with Japan's Nippon Steel. Biden's speech comes as he and former President Donald Trump vie for votes in Pennsylvania, a crucial swing state for both candidates. Biden's not the only one talking tough on tariffs. His move builds on tariffs Trump put in place during his term. Earlier this year, Trump proposed a 10% tariff on all imported goods and threatens to go much further on China if elected in November. Now the Washington Post is saying that you're talking about 60% tariffs on Chinese goods. Is that in the cards? Uh, no, I, I would say maybe it's going to be more than that. But raising tariffs doesn't just punish the likes of China. The Tax Foundation says that while the U.S. collected more than $230 billion from tariffs put in place by the Trump administration and kept in place by Biden, it's Americans who bear the cost by paying higher import and retail prices. Mm -hmm.